Mountains, and they, and they pretty much south to north. Storm again is phenomenal. All night long, oh, he was headed to the south. Coming to about 40 miles north of the wind. It's time soon. The hurricane will be swore between Grand Isle of Louisiana and the mouth of the Mississippi River this morning. It was a Category 4 storm with 140 mile an hour winds. Then it lost strength. CNN's Gene Missouri is getting a first look at the damage around western the story of Hurricane Katrina was very much like that of Pearl Harbor, not one of the finest moments in American history. But one thing that we can see through this is how determined we can be to move forward in the face of adversity. It, it was unlike anything that I've experienced in my whole life. We didn't know where to start. You know, do we go ahead and rebuild? Do we knock down the house and build a new house? Do we tear down the walls? As we drove back in from Slidell, it was eerily dark everywhere until you got to downtown because the only place that had lights and electricity was the French Quarter of CBD in the warehouse district. So that was very, very different looking. There was no signs on the, uh, no uh, lights. Is I actually left and got out to go to Los Angeles and I remember Watching the news on my laptop, and I was talking to my cousins, they had evacuated to Houston, and she said, uh, her name is Trisha, and she said, yeah, you know, I think we'll probably be back on Tuesday or Wednesday. And I realized literally at that moment while I was watching it, it wasn't going to happen. Well, the neighborhood was surreal. It, it was like in a time warp. Everything was gray, uh, a light brown. When I walked into the house, it was just unbelievable. Everything was a mess. Things were upside down. Uh, nothing was in its place. China cabinets were tipped over. Tables were upside down. And it was unlike anything that anybody could ever imagine. Well, you could see that the city was going to come back and it was going to take a lot of time. And, you know, Neighborhoods were banding together, neighbors were helping each other. Everybody that could was putting forth the effort to get back on, on the mainstream. Um, we were excited about what we could do. We didn't know where we were going, but everybody pitched in and faith-based organizations helped out and the city wound up getting rebuilt gradually. When we began to write the tour for the Hurricane Katrina tour, we decided there were several elements that we needed to include. One was a timeline. When do we leave? Do we leave? How long do we leave? And we constantly looked at television to see the encroaching storm. Uh, the other was uh, the landmarks that we saw on TV, which were including the Superdome, which was the shelter of last resort, and the convention center where people waited to be bussed out of the city also covered the four major levee breaks in the neighborhood surrounding it. That's the most important part of that story. We also included um, evacuation routes and other general information. Katrina was a storm that hit everyone. It did not discriminate against class level or any of that. And uh, the neighborhoods that we go through showed that. I'm not sure how the idea for a Katrina tour originated, but when it was first suggested, we dismissed it immediately. But then more people recommended that we consider such a tour, including our employees, tour guides, family members, and the local convention and visitors bureau. We launched the tour on January 4th, 2006. It was a cutting edge day for Grayline. When the first tour returned and passengers, many wiping the tears from their eyes, exited the vehicle with glowing remarks for the waiting media, we knew we had done the right thing. The progression of this tour. You know, when we originally started, it was going through the devastated neighborhoods. And as we started to move forward, we were showing the progress in the city. Um, it was very slow. There were a lot of struggles for us, and we discussed that on the tour. Now today, what's really important when we look at this tour is, um, you know, so much negative occurred from it. We like to highlight the positive things. So one of the things that we do is we go through the actual timeline before the storm, during the storm, and after so people can actually comprehend uh, the chain of events. We also do myth busting, which is very important because uh, we were unfairly, I think, portrayed by media. So that's a very important thing to give people an understanding. Uh, the other part of the tour that, that is probably my favorite part is Unfortunately, due to so many negative occurrences, for everyone, we have a positive. 
So that's one thing that we discuss through uh, the progression of uh, how, how we are today as, as, as a city. One thing that I'm very proud of, uh, for many of us, all of us actually in this room, uh, how we got through it, and I know we talk about uh, perseverance, but it's just really truly amazing in that sense of our human spirit, how we got the job done. We're a much better city at this point too for it.